Walk-offs, double-digit strikeout days, home runs into the parking lot, the PBR 17U National Championship delivered on all of it. Here to wrap it up, Corey McCartney joined by PBR Georgia Scouting Director Phil Kerber. Phil, I hope you had a chance to catch your breath after all this. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, like you said, it was a really exciting week of baseball. Um, a lot of power arms, a lot of power bats, and I'm excited to dive into it with you. Academy Select wins the title after nearly a week of looking at some really big-time talent. Who are the players that really made a big impression on you? Yeah, Academy Select, um, first and foremost, Creed Willems, catcher, right-handed pitcher, TCU commit. I, I don't know what the final tally was, but he had six or seven home runs. I'm guessing the RBI count was 15 to 20. Uh, it was just a ridiculous display at the plate. Left-handed hitter. It seemed like Anytime he came up to bat, there's a chance that the ball is leaving the park. Even I have some videos of some foul balls that he hit that were probably 400 feet. It was just absolutely ridiculous. And then he gets up on the mound and is touching 94 with a nice breaking ball, nice change up. I mean, it was just all power. The way we were joking about it at the tournament, he looks like a mini John Crook. Like an 80s yeah. throw. He's got the mullet going yep. and everything. It was, he was a lot of fun to watch. And then from uh, SGB Sox, Mississippi State commit Hunter Hines, another guy that just absolutely destroyed balls. I think his home run tally was six. And every time left-handed hitter, anytime he came up to the plate, there was good chance that ball was leaving the park or it was coming off the bat hot. I mean, those two hitters between the two of them were unbelievable. Just so much fun to watch. And then recent Kennesaw State commit uh, from Game On South, who were our runners-up, Hudson Mims. You know, we've seen Mims a lot this summer. We saw him at our top prospect games early in June. As people remember, he was the guy that we said, hey, who wants to hop up on the mound for half an inning? He does it up to 89 and has just really picked it up with his bat week in and week out, just consistently line drive hitter. He's got some whip to it, which is adding power to his frame. And now Kennesaw State just picked up a really good recruit, a guy who I think can step right in and contribute from day one for them. So that was, he was another guy that had a really good weekend. And then Will Coger from uh, Legends, Louisville Legends, Le Louisville commit, big frame, projectable, up to 93. And, you know, we saw a lot of guys that were low 90s. What really set Coger apart was his off speed. Really good slider, 2,500 spin rate on it. So it was 74, 77. And then would pop in the 62 mile per hour curveball that looked identical to a slider coming out of the hand, same arm speed, slot, everything, just took 30 miles per hour off of it and just plops it in there for strikes. Like I can't imagine how much that's throwing off the batter's timing, but it was really, really good. And he's also got a changeup, so he's a legitimate four-pitch guy who, I mean, I think his stock's only got to be going up, especially after this weekend. And finally, from complete game, Braden Collette, a Georgia Southern commit, guy that – Committed George Southern probably about a month ago after he came to one of our tournaments and was 93, touching 94. He's a guy that doesn't have much experience on the mound. He's always been a position player, but this summer he's given him the mound a try. And, I mean, he's 93, 94 with pretty good spin rate on that fastball. The breaking ball is still a work in progress because he is new to pitching. But given the arm speed and the amount of arm strength that he has, he's going to be – very closely looked at as we progress towards the 2021 MLB draft. The entire 17 U National Championship, of course, is available on Late Point Live. So head over to latepointsports.com for more info. And if you're not already, I don't know why you wouldn't be. Follow Phil on Twitter at Phil Kerber PBR. Phil, thanks as always. Thank you, Corey.